Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am taking some unusual things and creating really high-end looking home decor pieces, including some summertime outdoor toys. This video I'm pretty excited about. Everything definitely kind of has an industrial vibe, but I think you all will agree that, you know, if you take things that are typically industrial and you paint it or tweak it a little bit, it becomes very farmhouse or modern or cottage core, I think I've heard is a new decor term. Um, you know, it can be farmhouse, it can be shabby chic, you can skew it a lot of different ways, just depending on really how you paint these. All of these items, though, are found at Dollar Tree, and I'm super, super excited about them. Before we get into those projects, though, I do, of course, want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, my long-termers, my short-termers, my newbies, everybody in between. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I hit 30,000 subscribers recently, and I'm just blown away and honored, and thank you guys so, so much. And uh, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you're just checking it out for the first time, hopefully you will consider becoming a subscriber and joining in the fun. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right, everyone, and for project number one, I'm going to take this table decoration that I picked up from Dollar Tree. This is a glittery silver kind of a star three-dimensional thing, and uh, I'm warning you right now, you're going to get tons of silver glitter all over you when you do put this thing together. It is super, super cute, though, and I thought it would look really cool if it was spray-painted black. I took it outside, and I spray-painted it with a matte black spray paint, and what I loved about this is that texture that the glitter is also with on there. Um, it gives it a very cool, almost kind of a metallic look when everything is dry. I did go around all four sides and I did two coats of paint. And as you will see, it is a very cool looking decorative piece. It is such a cool looking star in in itself. I would love this for 4th of July. In fact, I did buy all of the colors. You can get this in red, blue, and in the silver. But Spray painting it black and adding it to my curio shelf here. I think it looks so cool, very industrial and very, very modern for a dollar. And for the next project, we're gonna take these two coveted drawers that you find at Dollar Tree, um, most Dollar Trees anyway. And uh, I have the two different sizes here. And then I did grab two of these wood balls, even though there's just one there showing. And then I did grab um, eight of those dowel rods. Those are the packages of 10 that you can get from Dollar Tree. They're the long ones. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove the hardware. I'm actually not gonna use the hardware on these, so I'm gonna put that aside and save that for something else. I'm taking my Onyx Minwax and uh, stain there, and I'm just going to cover it with this brush. I love this stain, it goes on so easy. It cleans up even easier because it is a water-based stain. Literally a little bit of soap and water, it comes off of your mat, it comes off of your hands, it cleans out of the brush really easy. I just took my heat gun and I'm just gonna help speed up that drying process a little bit with that heat gun. And then once everything had dried, I then went outside and I spray painted my dowel rods. I'm gonna spray paint my dowel rods with this steel color that I love from Rust-Oleum. And once that dried, I also did spray paint the wooden balls that you can't really see here. Once everything was dried, then I took it inside and started to assemble. Basically, all I'm doing is kind of building a teepee. I'm gonna add two of the bars in there, or two of the wood dowels in either corner. And then I'm gonna bring the two um, dowel rods together at the top. I'm not crisscrossing them. I'm actually making them all kind of come flush with each other. When you see it in the second one, it'll actually make a little bit more sense. And uh, what I'm doing is kind of creating a cradle really for that wooden ball that I'm going to put at the top there. And uh, I did just go ahead and fill in the hole of that wooden ball with some hot glue before I spray painted it. That way everything looked nice and flush. And then I repeated the process for the smaller one as well. I did trim down those dowel rods just a little bit. And as you will see, I've got two great little decorative pieces. You can put a plant in here. You can put a candle in here. You can do a lot of different things. Obviously, use your own caution. Use what you think would look best in there. But I absolutely love these. 
And for my next project, I'm going to use one of these coveted hanging shelves. Thank you so much to my friends that sent me a couple of these. I received actually three or four of them in the mail. I also grabbed one of these pulleys that I picked up from Ace Hardware during my last Dollar Tree haul. I went ahead and took everything out of the packaging, and then I'm simply just going to untie the strings that are um, kind of holding that hanging shelf up. They're very, very easy, just a simple knot to remove. Once I did that, then I am going to start to stain my board. I'm going to use my Minwax again, but I'm going to use it in the walnut color. I'm just going to go ahead and squirt some right on the board itself. And then I'm going to take that same brush that I used earlier with the Onyx that I had just kind of washed out. And I am just going to stain this board darker. I'm going to go ahead and go on the tops and the sides and the bottom of it. And uh, actually, I, I ended up skipping the bottom of it. I forgot. And uh, you guys would have called me out, though. But uh, I did get the sides and I got the uh, the top part of it, the important parts anyway. And then for this one, I just went ahead and replaced the hanging uh, O-ring that was at the top there. And instead, I'm going to just remove that from the twine or from that, uh, I guess it's twine or uh, what is it? Uh, what? We'll call it twine. I'm just going to remove that from there and then I'm going to add that pulley in place of that. So all I'm going to do is just kind of that middle point there of the rope. I'm going to take the pulley and just feed that rope or that twine right back through there and then I'm going to tie the shelf literally right back into place. It just gives it kind of a cool industrial vibe. What I'm doing is as I'm feeding the rope back through those holes I am going to just tie knots off at the end of that rope and I'm just gonna make sure that the distance I have is about the same as my fingernail width. That way everything hangs nice and even. The great thing about the pulley though is that you can self-adjust with that pulley but I obviously want to make sure that the ropes are at least the same length on each side. So again, just kind of making a simple knot on either side. And then when it's all done, you've got a very cool industrial looking shelf that you can hang stuff on. Yes, you do need to make sure that this is balanced, but how cute is this? I've got that old oil can that I found at an antiques mall. I think I paid a dollar for it and just added one of my previous Dollar Tree products with some greenery. Pretty easy and fun to do, and I love the way this one turned out. My next DIY is going to be pretty straightforward. This one's really, really easy. I took one of these glass jars from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to simply just spray paint that lid. I did want to add a little bit of a knob to it. So originally, I ended up using this small wooden bead, but you will see that after I take it outside, I decided that I didn't really like that wooden bead that much. I was going to fill the center of it with some hot glue, and uh, I don't know. I just didn't like the way it looked after I spray painted everything black. So now, once everything is dry, I then take it inside and then I decide, you know what? I'm gonna remove that wood bead that I spray painted black and instead I'm going to add a chunky brown stained bead to my black spray painted lid. And now I love the way this looks. I think that this looks so, so cute. And you don't really have to pull on that knob because it is glued on there and the jar lid screws on there. But how cute is this? Definitely something cute for your storage area, for your craft room, maybe even for your bathroom. A very, very easy and simple DIY that really has a cool high-end look. Right now, I think this is probably one of my favorite DIY projects that I've done so far. So I'm taking these beach toys, I don't even know what the heck they are, and four of these larger Jenga blocks, and then two of these wooden planks from Dollar Tree's Crafter Square. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and glue these blocks together. These blocks were gifted to me from a neighbor. They had used them in a fundraiser that was uh, for foster children. And so you may notice some different sayings about uh, foster children or parents or single parents or anything like that so that's what that's for in case you're curious of what those blocks say I thought it was a very cool kind of a way to do Jenga and I was really really flattered that they would gift me these Jenga blocks that I could then use for a very cool craft project so I'm going to go ahead and glue two of them together so I have two sets and then I'm going to take this mesh stuff off of here and then that ball that's in there I'm going to literally pop that ball right out and let Mr. Otis play with it. And that one bounced back at me, but this one he was able to play with, and now he's, of course, playing with both of them. Now it's time to go ahead and start assembling my wood 
to this uh, plastic uh, ball shooter thing. Now, I did go ahead and remove the, uh, the clicker button and you'll see where I'm gluing those wood blocks. That's actually the flatter side of this uh, ball shooter thing. I don't, I don't know what it's called. And uh, I'm just gonna use hot glue for the sake of making this a quick DIY. If you wanted to make this sturdier, you could certainly use an E6000, but the plastic and the wood actually do bond together with the hot glue. So I did that on both of them. And then once they were done, it was time to go ahead and glue the wood backing to this. So in order to do that, what I wanted to do is make sure that that wood backing just kind of, um, kind of bumped up where the curve of the back of the ball shooter thing um, is, just to make sure that everything would lay completely flat and flush up against the wall. So now that I've got both of them done, it is time to take them outside and to spray paint them. Oh, I really love the way that this copper spray paint looked. This is probably one of my favorite colors right now. I'm definitely into metallics, but what I did next is really, really cool. Now, as you will see, they look like pretty gorgeous sconces just the way they are right now. But I took them a step further and added Dollar Tree tea lights in them that actually change colors. Now, once I've dimmed the lights, you can really see the different colors in there. I really love the way that these look. I think that they are bright and colorful and fun. I think that they would be really, really fun at a party. And if you wanted to just use a traditional white you know, tea light, you certainly could. Again, these are the battery operated tea lights that change colors. If you wanted to go with solid white, by all means do that. But again, I think that these are super fun and very, very unexpected. You would not think that these were a Dollar Tree summer toy by any means. Again, super, super happy with the way that these turned out.